This is the 2023 Moto Edge Plus, and what makes it special is not just the phone itself, but the service that is on it, because this right here came from Project Genesis by Dish, because yes, this is Dish native service on this phone. So right now, so this is normally like an $800, $850 phone. This is one of uh, brand new flagship phones that have been coming out recently. This has all the top loaded, top level specs. But what makes it special is that it is made for Project Genesis because it supports the native Dish network bands that you need to connect to well, Dish's native network. So in this video, we're gonna do a couple quick tests after setting up the phone and uh, see what you get when you order one of these from Project Genesis. So right off the bat, the first thing I noticed here was the original factory tape was cut and they put a new circle piece of tape over it. I'm assuming they already opened the box because they were putting the SIM card inside the box so let's open this up and see what we get inside a very nice premium uh premium flagship box here we have the phone up top and yep there is the sim and it also looks like the sim isn't actually in here it's already installed into the phone so um yeah i can also tell that's already been peeled before and resealed pretty cool looking sim card overall so uh, there's that and moto isn't like samsung or apple and all those other companies that uh, pretend to do better for the environment because they don't include accessories um because it's actually the opposite of what's true it's better for the environment if you include accessories because then you don't need all that extra packaging so yes you do get a fast usb-c wall charger in the box as well as your type c to type c charging cable and inside here we have a sim ejector tool and all of our manuals. So let's peel that paper wrapping off of the phone. And there it is. This is the Moto Edge Plus 2023. Again, this is a top end flagship phone. It immediately just feels really nice and premium. Uh, it's got a curved display on the edges, uh, metal frame, and then this, I think this is a glass back with a very nice like sandstone black matte texture to it. Got a triple camera set up here, USB-C port on the bottom along with speaker grill and the SIM slot. Let's power up the phone. Go, got Motorola powered by Android. Hello, Moto. So this comes pre-activated since the SIM card is already in the phone. So uh, let's see what happens now. Let's check it just to make sure though if uh, there's already a SIM card inside of this phone. Yep, there is. You can see right there, there's already a SIM card installed. Just take it out and put it back in. All right, there we go, we got LTE. So we do have this going. So now I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to Wi-Fi. All right, we do have the phone getting set up. Once again, this is just such a nice you know, premium phone. The curved display edges that really nice uh, finish on the back. And again, buying this from Project Genesis, it costs you just $400 when the retail price of this phone is like $800 or $850. So you're also getting a really good discount on this flagship phone. This is a brand new 2023 flagship phone and it checks all the boxes in terms of it being just this really premium polished uh, high-end device. But I'm gonna sign into my Google account now and then we'll get on with the testing of the service. All right, we just got the phone all set up and ready to go. We are on Wi-Fi right now, but um, I'm gonna stay on Wi-Fi for a little bit until I'm ready to get the testing done because I have to download the Project Genesis app before we continue. As you can see, it's already installed a few uh, bloatware apps that I didn't ask for, but it is what it is. That might've been Dish doing it, not Moto because these companies might have paid Dish to install these on the phone. That might have been how they were able to get the price down, but uh, either way, we are going to get the Project Genesis app as the instructions said, and then uh, continue on. All right, once you've logged into your Genesis account, just wait for it to load up a little bit, and then press join the future and uh, we can go ahead and choose an avatar that we want to use. And right off the bat, just for signing up, we got a thousand points, but we're not here for that. We're here to speed test. So if we load up cell map, we actually see uh, the MCC is 313 and the MNC is 340. That 313, 340 is the code for DISH. So this is the DISH native network, which uh, I guess I'm covered now at my house, which is really, really cool. So you can see right now there's um, band N70, which is a native DISH network band. You can also see it's aggregated on top of what looks like AT&T because it's 310, 410 on band 30. So this is gonna be very interesting. You see 5G at the top, uh, band 70 standalone, as well as band 30, which is aggregated on. So this is gonna be some very interesting testing on Dish's native network. So let's run a speed test. You can see this is Project Genesis. 
let's go ahead and run the first speed test at my house on Dish's native network. So there you have it, 214 on 54.9. Let's go ahead and run another test. That is a really solid speed test. So I ended up getting in a few more speed tests after that. You can see those five results. Overall, I think this is really impressively performing well. And if this is how it's gonna be on Dish, I'm definitely looking forward to what's next to come for Dish as they continue to further roll out their network. And most importantly, I'm excited that we finally have a fourth competitor in the mobile network operator space. So what's really cool is just as of recently, Dish announced that their native network now covers over 70% of the US. So that means that their native coverage, including their band N70 standalone, which I'm getting here, is available to many more people. So now if you enter your address in the Project Genesis website, you'll be more likely to qualify to be able to get it because now Dish has more native coverage. Now at this time, Project Genesis does not allow bring your own device. You have to buy this new Moto Edge Plus for $400, but the plan is $25 a month, and I believe it is truly unlimited data with it. So. Uh, it's pretty nice to test, pretty nice to use, and it may even be your next cell phone plan. This is not a review by any means. I will get to a more conclusive testing video maybe sometime soon. But for now, it's at a pretty good start, and it's on a pretty good phone. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to drop a like below to let me know. Subscribe to never miss the next one, and I'll see you there.